Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I want to take my time. I want to take my sweet time with this reading. Let's see what messages is spirit, the universe, your, your spirit guides wanting to bring your way. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're having a lovely day or night, whenever it is that you watch this video. And thank you for coming in and hanging out. Thank you for clicking on this video. And thank you all of you who are members of the channel and who have given um, donations and tips. I really appreciate it. I just want you to know that. Thank you so much. All right, universe, spirit, beings of love and light, please bring in the most relevant and important messages for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Please bring in the most accurate predictions, the best advice for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As always, take what resonates with you, leave the rest behind, and know that there is a family of five, four kittens, and a mama cat loose in my office, so if we're lucky, you'll get to see them. <laughs> but they may make a lot of noise. They're all asleep though, currently. We'll see. All right. All right, all right. Wow. First card showing up is the Tower Pisces. So this talks about change, right? Change that is non-negotiable, change that is even not even unexpected. It's something that you've kind of known has to change, something that you kind of been guided to change, guided to um, face, but maybe it's hard. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you have been distracted. Maybe you have procrastinated. Maybe you don't know how to go about it. The universe may have been like, hey, you need to do this, you need to change that, you need to uh, stop this habit, or you need to stop this um, distraction, whatever. And when the tower happens, that's when spirit basically is saying, well, you could have done it on your own. Uh, we gave you a lot of chances for you to correct course on your own. But you're so loved and you're so protected by the divine that we are not going to let you continue moving in the wrong direction. So it's like the universe takes matters into its own hands and creates this tower moment. Something crumbles. Some, something falls apart. Something that wasn't grounded. It wasn't ideal. Right? It wasn't good for you. Even if you liked it. Right? It crumbles. It comes crashing down. And that is not comfortable. You know, if you were avoiding doing that on your own for so long, it's probably because that change is uncomfortable. The tower moment is kind of like that relationship that is really toxic that falls apart because you didn't have the, the courage or the strength to call it off. Right? This could be something like you being in a job that was abusive to you for years and out of fear staying there universe comes in and you're fired it's like oh shit okay <laughs> like it's not up to you anymore you know what i mean and this is going to apply differently for every single one of you for some of you this has already happened for some of you you are living that tower moment something is being corrected Something that was not sustainable is being corrected. Something that maybe you've always known you needed to improve, but you didn't know how or you didn't want to. Spirit is coming in here and showing its love through this energy of destruction. And it often doesn't feel, you know, like love. It feels like an inconvenience sometimes. But truly, what it is, is... The universe coming in to save you, pretty much, to bring you out of where you don't belong and put you back into your right path. That's, that's in essence, what a tower moment is. 
Some of you could be having a challenge with addictions, bad habits, um, toxicity. Some of you, it's like maybe even like a Capricorn person could be involved somehow. This is the card that is showing up for your challenges right now, right? And as you can see in the illustration, if you're watching the video, it's almost like this parasitic energy that has like somehow taken over this this tree, right? Asphyxiating it a little. But that's why in this tower card, the tree is on fire. You know what I mean? Like, it's like if a, if something made you sick, literally or symbolically, if something made your life sick, a toxic partner, an addiction, you know, whatever it may be, to the point in which you are seemingly trapped, you can't breathe energetically, it's like you're, you know, trapped there, you, you feel stuck. The universe comes in and it's like, you know what, let's burn everything to the ground. Let's have a phoenix moment, <laughs> right? Let's burn everything and come back from the ashes, renewed. Some of you have had a very traumatic experience with a Capricorn. And it got to a point in which it wasn't sustainable anymore at all. Maybe you had to push that person away from your life. Maybe maybe part of this tower moment was caused because of a challenge that had to do with a Capricorn. Let's say, for example, that you have a, a child that has addictions, happened to be a Capricorn. Maybe out of your love, and out of your kindness, you have been trying to pay for rehabs and doing all sorts of things, and now you find yourself in financial in a financial crisis. Spirit is saying here, there is another way. And Spirit is rearranging things here for you. It may not be obvious, and it may not feel like things are getting better. Let me adjust my tripod right here. Because sometimes we only know what's going on when we connect the dots, looking back, right? But when we're living the situations, we don't know exactly what is going on. It all feels like it's just, you know, chaos. But it's not. Something is changing here. Something is, is changing into something very positive. But... The negative had to be shed. <clears throat> Look at this. We have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. <laughs> Look at this. These are brand new beginnings. And we have the Fool here as well. Brand new beginnings, Pisces. What's being left behind is not better than what is ahead. What is being left behind is just not good enough for your future. Okay? Things can be done differently. They can be managed differently. They can be felt differently. For some of you, you're leaving behind maybe because we have the Ace of Wands. I feel like there was a passion, an inspiration, a motivation, something that started small and grew almost out of control. It grew, it grew to massive proportions before you were ready to handle that. Like maybe some of you, I don't know, you started a YouTube channel, you went viral. And it was like, oh shit, you know, like, damn, that's great. But it's also like, how do I deal with this, right? Some of you are leaving behind a need to, or yeah, like a, a need or a dream or a necessity of having biological children. Some of you seem to be moving past that. And if that resonates with you, what I just received is that there is, like your child is out there 
waiting for you through adoption. And it's like, maybe that is why it just hasn't worked. That got, that was very strong. Like the feeling of it was very strong. So I would definitely say that's a message for a quite few of you, quite a few of you, that your child is waiting for you. In your mind space, due to this tower moment, there are ideas, lots of ideas coming in. If this tower moment had something to do with finances, with, um, with career, with recognition, with your job, even with your health. If this tower moment really shook any of those areas, it seems like due to that, you have been thinking a lot about possibilities new ideas. What can you do? What hasn't been done before? What could be improved? What project could you start? What project do you need to finish? There is an, a refreshment here in your life. It's almost as if the tower... I'm using these examples because we see here a lot of references to plants and the forest and stuff. And the tower is being represented, for those of you who are not watching the video, by a tree, a big, huge tree, um, being lit on fire, right? Burning up. And what I'm getting is this sensation of the last couple of years in your life being that fire, right? And that excessive heat, burning everything up. Maybe you've been uh, burned out. In general, maybe something has burned. Maybe some of you have experienced some kind of burn physically. Some kind of burn in romantic relationships. Maybe some of you have been cheated on. Things like that, right? And it has been very chaotic. And now what I feel is that you're entering this phase in which after that fire in the forest, it starts to rain. It starts pouring. And... Now everything feels cool and fresh and healed, like a you know very soft, nourishing balm almost on your entire life. Ace of Cups in the near future. That relief, that sense of being like alleviated somehow. That's what I'm getting very, very strongly here. The worst is over, Pisces, or is about to be over. And I know that we hear that a lot in tarot readings. I see the comments, you guys. I see the comments. <laughs> but it is what's showing up here. And I'm only the messenger at the end of the day. And that is what I see. I see that some of you are at that last tiny little bit of that fire. And the rain is already starting to pour in. Refreshing everything. Some of you are going to be finding... Either something that is new that you fall in love with, meaning a job, a passion, a hobby, an idol, a pursuit, a religious, you know, thing, I don't know. Um, it's, it's like you're going to be finding something that really, really fulfills you emotionally. It makes you feel brand new. For some of you, this could be a romantic relationship that it's like you're born again. It gives life back to your life <laughs> somehow. It's like a breath of fresh air. And it is coming through other people, that's what I'm getting. Maybe connecting to, if for example, you've had issues with your family and you find yourself isolated and maybe you feel like you don't really have a family anymore. Maybe you start a romantic relationship with someone who has a beautiful, beautiful, huge family. And it's like now you have this huge family of yours now, you know? It's like through connections, through loving connections, there is going to be healing. And there is a shedding, a letting go of that excessive fire. Maybe some of you in the past were ambitious to the point of burnout. Maybe in the past you were um, passionate to the point of destruction, obsession, toxicity. And that is that like excess is going to be released. And now you're coming into a space of balance. 
Around you, though, around you there could be a Capricorn who's really struggling emotionally. There could be someone, maybe not a Capricorn, but maybe like your neighborhood, your city, your country. There's a lot of grief. We have the Three of Swords in your environment. There's a lot of grief. Some of you really need to check your aura for energy parasites. Um, entities, negative energies you have absorbed. Because, again, every time I see this card here, that's what it looks like to me. But it is, on top of that, showing in the environment. So your most direct environment, I guess, would be your auric field, right? It's around you, kind of. And look at what I see here. If you're watching the video, you can see it. It's like these attachments around. Take it if it resonates, you know. That will definitely not apply for all of you. Now, with the Fool card here representing you, you're all in for this new beginning. It seems like you're excited. It seems like you're willing to put the work in. It seems like you're enjoying the rain as it is pouring down. You're getting completely nurtured by it. You're dancing in the rain. After this huge fire, you're dancing in the rain. And you're not afraid to put in the work. If you need to clear that entire section of the forest, if you need to, um, you know, clean everything, put in a lot of work, put in a lot of energy, it seems like you're up for it. Even if it's hard, you know, we have the Nine of Wands here, even if it's a lengthy process, some of you are really excited to have the opportunity of starting again or starting something new or having like a second chance at something. Some of you are very excited about the emotional fulfillment that is recently showing up here. So Pisces, continue to dance in the rain. And if you feel like you're still in the fire, as soon as you start feeling those drops, those raindrops, start dancing. Because that is the signal that everything is going to get better and better and better, Pisces. And then the warmth that you're going to experience in your life is not going to be for this from this all-consuming, destructive fire. It's going to be a warmth that comes from within your heart. A light. You know, very different. <laughs> very different kind of um, warmth, Pisces. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Very lovely. I love this deck. I don't remember the name of it, but I bought it on Amazon, so you could probably find it there. All of my info always is in the description box below. You're going to see the website, you're going to see different products and all of the things. So make sure to check that out if you would like to get to know the person who's reading the cards for you. <laughs> I love you all so much. I hope you're doing great, and I'm very happy to see that things are changing for the better Pisces. All my love.